Do you know why? And this is the you said if we don't. Did you say? Did you say if we don't listen, we're going to go to hell? Yeah. I understand. That's fair. If you don't accept, yes. If you don't accept, if you don't accept the human sacrifice, you go to hell. If you don't accept, if you don't, she's saying if you don't accept human sacrifice, you will go to hell. Where does it say that? What done for you? What God has done? When God spilled His blood, so who did? God or human? God spilled His own blood. God. God. So you think God did that? God died. Why you need to say that? Mary can God die? Can God die? Where does it? Why? Why do you think that God can I'll tell you why. God can do so whatever you want. Shall I tell you why? Because if you follow the Bible, the Bible says that God alone is immortal. What does the term immortal mean to you? He's talking about, you know about passages about Jesus. Is it? Unapproachable again. Yeah, who, who no man has seen. Have people seen Jesus? Whom no man has seen or can see. Yeah. Oh, he doesn't say all his glory. You put the words in there. God took on no, 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 no. He took on no, 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 no. So, He says he alone is immortal. He alone is immortal. What does the term immortal yeah. mean? So what do you get from um, one verse, John 1, verse 1, John 1, where it says that Jesus is uncreated. I'm not going to answer my question. Why am I answering your question? I'm answering your question by saying that if God alone is immortal, and we see in the scripture that Jesus Christ has no beginning. I he created immortal. I asked you what's the meaning of immortal. Yes, again, another sign. I, I asked you what's the meaning of Jesus immortal. You're explaining to me what is eternal. But two different meanings of, sorry, two different words having two different meanings. What does the word immortal mean, not eternal? Yeah, to live forever. Immortal, is, that is eternal. That's why I'm saying you're confused between the two different terminologies. The word immortal means someone who's not subject to death. Does that apply to Jesus? He overcame death. No, but did he, he die? Subjects, but did he You've die? got to remember that his weakest point when Jesus on the cross. Did he die or he not? He overcame death. But did he die? Yeah, he died. So, he's, oh, so he is and not he immortal. Over, of course he is. He overcame death. Looks like you don't know the meaning of immortal. He showed that. Okay. So Jesus, I don't think you, God, you know the meaning of death. immortal. And yeah. you're, you're, you're some, somehow in denial of the meaning. And also what Jesus did on the cross. If you're saying that he was not crucified at all, then yes, you can say he's immortal. But if you're saying that he was crucified by his own friend, his own Christian killed him for three days and he is not immortal. He overcame death. I think that you find Look, that overcoming true. death, overcoming death implies he died at some point, right? Are you with me? Overcoming death, overcoming death means you resurrected. And resurrected only applies to mortals. So Jesus was mortal, not immortal. Right. He means, how can he be immortal? In his grave, then that would have been evident. No, he didn't. He, 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 he overcame death. And by overcoming death, he denied. You're going into denial mode again. No, no. What was our, what was the I don't, I don't think you want to have a dialogue if you're going to keep being death. in denial. Death was our punishment, yeah? Because no, that wasn't the punishment. Death. death is not a punishment. Do you see his point, death? though? Death. And because he has death. overcome, death is not a punishment. It is something which happens to everyone other than God. Death, we were never meant to die. Really? God created us. God so you're saying you us. were never meant to die? Adam sinned. Well, Adam sinned means what? Death is the punishment for sin. What, is, what, is death, death is what does that mean now, to you? Now, like I said, Christ okay. overcame death. That was the whole point. But did he because die? By one man's sin. Did he, he die, die or not? Or did he die for three days or not? He died and overcame Did the Father death. die? Of course not. No. I mean, we've got so the Father is God, Jesus is not God. Now listen, Hashem, we both know that you're not that interested in the truth. Though. Yeah. The truth is what I'm telling you in the I'm Bible. You. I don't, the think, Bible, that's, I don't think that's true. The Bible is saying that God is immortal. She's saying, no, Hashim, no he died. Now, whom should I believe? The Bible which says that God never dies, or should I believe you that God died? Hashim, I'm who do I believe? You, do you want the truth? Like, do you love God? Do you want I think you, I think I think you want to know the truth. I think, yes. I think you are in denial of your own Bible. You don't want to know the truth. The Bible is the only book which demands blood. Repent. Blood. Repent. Repent from what? Repent for your sin. Uh, no issues repenting. <laughs> Jesus himself says to repent. Exactly. That comes to an understanding of what they are. In. You got to repent. Perfect, you got to repent from the human sacrifice you believe in. You that is, repent. the pagans commit human sacrifice. Yeah, that Did is you? a false religion. Yeah. And which God rebuked in the Old Testament. God said that anyone who, who, who sacrifices, they are the ones who have been rebuked by God in the Old Testament. They used to sacrifice their sons to Baal in the Old Testament. That is paganism. We've heard of this before. That's paganism. You know, when God gives himself for us, we accept the grass. God gives himself. You know, during Eucharist, during Eucharist, you guys. I mean, obviously, Allah is not. 
a loving father. The way God is portrayed to you is not as a loving father. Of course he's a loving father. God, yeah, can, now, I, can, now, I, can I ask? Can I, can I just ask? Like, you, you're giving a message, message. yeah. The only thing we're trying to ask you, yeah. That, see, he is interested in truth because what he's asking is where did it look? Overall, he's questioning certain things because he wants to know if it's true or not. That's fair. You gave a message. I understand it. Yeah, well, as personally, yeah. All I'm asking you is, where, how do you know? That it, could you? Okay, can I ask you something? Could that message be wrong? Yes or no? I mean, no, could that message I, is not wrong? Definitely not. My, the message. That I'm yes, yes. The message that. Okay, so then then that's listen. She's quite adamant, Hashim, that her message is true. So then we have to ask, what proof do you have of that? So where did you get your message? Where did I get my message? Yes, because if he came to me with a message, I say, where did you get it from? And I'm sh guessing he'll say the Quran, yes. and I'm going to start questioning it. So I'll ask you, where did you get your message? Okay, so my, the message I believe in is in the gospel. Yeah, but yeah. God drew me to that truth in my life because there's a lot that's happened. It would take me all day to see it. Of course. I express that to you. So that's, that's uh, uh, subjective. Yeah, that's, exactly. that's, uh, that's understandable as well. I come and I the message, the gospel, if the message is if the message is in the gospel, then why don't you follow the message of Jesus, who confirms that the only true God is the Father? That's why it's you are, you are does he say that? Does he say that? To question him, does he say that? To question him, does it? Look, you know the Bible better than us. John yeah? seventeen three. There you go. Does he say that? Does he? Would you say that he says? Yeah. The Father is the true God. So would you follow Jesus? What's wrong with that? The true message of Jesus. I'm not following an entity. I'm I'm following a God that has revealed Himself. So when the person do you follow Jesus or not? Do you follow the message of Jesus? Yes or no? Do you follow the message of Jesus. Yeah, okay. So if Jesus tells you that the only true God is the Father, do you agree with that? I agree with, yeah, I agree with Jesus Christ. So, so he's the only, so the Father so is we, the only true God. Shall we confirm that there is no other true God other than the Father? I, I think See, you disagree with our Jesus. Oh, and this is this is what happens when we ask about the gospel. You said, Hashim, you don't want to know the truth. Now I've told you, and and you asked her the question, where do you know this truth if from? If you wanted to know the truth, and what did she say? You asked from the gospel, and you say no matter. And when we showed her the gospel, now she's rejecting it. If he really cares, but, but are you really rejecting the gospel? He's like, to be fair, I don't really understand this God, but please help gospel. me to understand this, Why? rather than laughing. Okay, but do you see what I'm saying? You. When, I'm saying, when you said the truth is found in the gospel, Hashim, and when yeah. I pointed out the gospel's message of Jesus, you're saying you don't want to believe let's it. See, let's see how. Look, I, just know, I just want to know how she explains that. Sister, Jesus sister. said that sister. he sister. gives eternal life. I know, I know. Jesus said that he is the Bible. Jesus has all the sister. attributes of sorry, God. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You can't. You know, you Jesus cannot, said. Unless you've how never read. Uh, Jesus also said, said that by himself, himself can do nothing. Right, right, right. Yeah. Do you believe that? Yeah, How do you Jesus see? You know when he says, himself, so, guys, can Jesus ask the question? was in the flesh. You know when you said, that, sister, that, uh, okay, so he's, uh, Hashem is stating that God's in, in the Bible, Jesus says the Father is the only one true God. Is that right? Yes. Sorry. How do you see that? How do I see that? What was your best? John, John 17, 17 3. 3. Because if Jesus confirms and asserts that the only true God is the Father, then I don't think the church or yourself or anybody else has a right to deny the message of the gospel in which Jesus clearly confirmed that the only true God is the Father. From where? From verse 1 and 2. Oh, so, so, okay. Can you read it aloud if you don't mind? That's okay. Yeah, okay. And this is life eternal that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on earth, I have finished the work which thou gave me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. Now, listen, God does not give his glory to another, yeah? God does not glorify Wait, what's the, what's anyone, the verse you right? said? Sorry, Hashim. So, if you're going to read out half yeah, sure. of a quote, sure. you can read but if you're going to read the rest of it and you can see. Can you read the rest of it? That the yeah, son is speaking to the father saying, I have done what I'm here to do, and now you glorify me with the glory that okay. I had with you before the world well, you began. You... Before the world began, before anyone was created, before anything. But why did you only read that? This, 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 this. Why didn't you? Why did I read it? Because you, you gave the... me the quote. No, the rest, yeah. I carried on reading. But and you... when I carried on but, reading, but you said that you explained the first verse. You went straight to verse five. Why? I didn't. Okay, read verse three. It's okay. You read the rest of it. No, I read three, yeah, and then I read four, and then I read five. Okay. What do you mean? What, what is three? three sorry, what is three? Three means that what is three, the only true God, God and the Son and the Triune God. Now, while the Son was on the no, earth, then obviously you were saying, I'm say that explaining this to you. I'm saying she just. No, but don't put your words in No, no, hold on, hold on. I won't say anything. What is the verse? What is the verse? You've got to remember. What is the verse? You're the one that. 
pick this quote out, so now I'm gonna. But now you're gonna know what this quote reveals. Can you just let me know what the verse is? Just read that, and then you're gonna. You want me to read it again? Oh, you just want me to read one? No, 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 no. Whatever you're addressing. And this is life eternal that they might know thee, the only true God. And you can explain that. Yeah, you can explain. What's wrong with that? When he says this is eternal life, that they may know you. The only true God. Who is the you here? Yeah, he's speaking to the Father. Okay. So according to Jesus, who is the only true God? He's saying that the Father is the only true God. Do you, do you, line, yeah. do you believe that? I believe that Yahweh, my Father in heaven. No, the word Yahweh wasn't the there. The, word, the term Yahweh wasn't there. So, so, who is, who is yeah. the only true God according to Jesus Christ there? Yeah, the Father. He's recognized that. Okay. He could recognize many okay. so other. So now Jesus has confirmed. Wait, so Jesus has confirmed that the only true God is the Father. Do you? Do you? Agree with Jesus' statement. Well, that he's the Father, one yeah. true God. I think you already know what I believe. Yeah. I don't. Believe in the Sorry, I don't. I, I don't. I don't get it. Yeah. So you believe so in the Trinity? Believe How do we explain that? Oh, That's what I'm asking. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. No, 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 no. She, she, look, you're allowed to uh, yeah. give us details. Yeah. On that. That's fair. Yeah. That's fair. Look, I want to know. But I just want to. Yeah, go on. Yeah, I want to know because you believe in the Trinity, which you have said many times. Yes, Jesus, his message is a Unitarian God, not a Trinitarian God. No, okay, listen. Wait, let me finish. No, let me finish. Quite, let me finish. If you, you can correct me. No, I, wrong. Do, I want to. Uh, listen, you, you can correct me after I finish, that. but at least listen, let me finish. Hashim, come on, Hashim, come on. Like, if you're going to read out oh, chapter yeah. 17, verse 3, and you're not going to read out. I didn't say I'm not going to read. I said, let's read it one at a time. Five and six, then you're just giving a little line, aren't you? Over, over, Did I say I'm not going to read them? Did I say I'm not going to read them? I said, let's read it one at a time. Now, you need to understand that you are a Trinitarian. Jesus over there says there is a one Unitarian God who is a true God. Now, should I believe Jesus or should I believe you? Believe Jesus. And Good. Read so Jesus, so Jesus, not Jesus is not saying. No, no. I will let you. I will let you finish the rest of the That's statement. But we we need to understand that Jesus is saying there is a Unitarian God, not a Trinitarian God, who is a one true God. And this Unitarian God is the Father only. In the Trinity, we have three persons, not just the Father. That's what you believe. Yeah? But why? Where'd you get so how many persons are there in the because Trinity? Because when you look through scripture, you see that Jesus had the attributes of God claims of the attributes I can talk to one person at a time if you don't mind. Yeah, yeah, but let's have okay. one discussion. So, in, according to you, in the Trinity, how many persons are there? There's three persons. Exactly. So, in the Godhead, there are three persons. That means, what you consider as the true God, there are three persons. What Jesus considers as the only true God, there's only one person. Do you see the discrepancy there? Jesus never, you're, you're putting words in Jesus' mouth by refusing to read around what he's actually said. Okay, so show so, me where he says there are speak, three persons. Okay, so when Jesus speaks Father, this is the quote that he's okay. given, right? Then I'll stop in the beginning from one. These words spoke Jesus and lifted up his eyes to heaven and said, Father, the hour is come, glorify thy son, that thy, thy son also may glorify thee, as thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to thee. This is life eternal, that they might know thee and the only true God, and Jesus Christ in our sin. I have glorified thee on the air, I have finished the world. Yeah, and now, O oh Father, glorify me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. So Jesus is speaking to the Father there, and Jesus is speaking, saying that he had a glory with God before the no, world. No, don't, don't whip it. You and he's asking for God to glorify him, the same way that he has glorified the Father, he's saying, please glorify the Son. God doesn't give his glory But he doesn't, anyone. does he? You but don't he? seem to understand that this relationship what, what, between yeah. Jesus and the Father is completely unique. Can I ask it's a separate you know, thing completely from this One thing, you know, one, one thing that, this is the second time you have done it. You have only focused on the glory of, of yes, Jesus. That's why he didn't glorify in the wait, same wait, way in the same verse. Now, now wait. You completely missed out the one true God which Jesus has actually given the message of. I know why you want to evade that. Because it doesn't fit into your Trinitarian doctrine. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Listen, your your be, message. I'm going for two, right? I'm I'm always going to believe what I believe. Of course and you I, are. I, and you're going to be more deeply. You're not I pray, about it. I pray that my like father are, in heaven reveals to you the truth of Jesus' message. Yeah. You don't want to agree and with. I pray that you my father to. in heaven reveals to you what he has done for you. I'm glad you said only the and father I in heaven pray, will reveal. Yeah, because this shows heaven, us that subliminally she wants to acknowledge that the only true God, Jack Jesus, is saying. Is the Father only? We speak to the Father. Which shows us that Jesus the message of no. Jesus um, hi. is clear cut. Hi, yeah. Um, I'm just here to say, I'm going for I my dinner. I thought you wanted to be on camera. Now I'm you're really scared. Only because you always have the last thing to cheat. Can I ask one thing before <laughs> you go, sister? One thing, please. Can I ask oh. one thing? You said that Jesus, in that verse, glorify me the way he's glorified you, yeah? Yeah. So it should be equal. Am I correct in this? In the glorification? Yeah, they have an equal glory. Okay. Yeah, I mean, just we, there, we, no, in that verse, in this very same verse that they're supposed to be glorifying each other in the same way, Jesus can't glorify 
himself because he said the one true God is the Father, right? Yes. The one, just, just to clarify, yeah, sorry. The one true, he glorifies God, yes. yeah, by saying that God is the one true God. Yes? Yes or no? That's a yes, glorification, yes, yes. yeah? Vice versa, we don't see any kind of glorification throughout the Bible yeah, anywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, let me just clarify, yeah? Throughout the Bible, we don't see God the Father ever glorifying Jesus ah. in the same manner that you are the yes, one true God. Okay, okay, so when it says, okay, like, when it says uh, yeah, that every ahead. knee will bow and every tongue confess Jesus is Lord, Who said that? to yeah. the glory, it Who says, said it says, to the glory, said Jesus? to the glory of Paul. God the Father. It doesn't matter. Who to the Paul? glory of God. <laughs> <laughs> this is our faith. This Sorry, is what we believe. The message one of one Jesus together, yeah. is more important so than the Paul. Was it not? Was it not Jesus? It will be to God's glory. It will glorify God that every Every knee is bowing and yeah. every tongue confesses Jesus, Jesus never did that. God no, would oh not. No, sorry. God would not have everyone bow to a mere I know, I know. human being. Can I clarify? And confess Can them I, as Lord. Sorry, and it so, certainly yeah, would not be glory to know, God. Yeah. It would not glorify God if so, someone so, was so, to sister, do that. Sister, my question, I think I, I, you misunderstood. I meant that Jesus called God the Father, the one true God. And yeah. then vice versa, in the so-called uh, equal glorification, yeah. I said Jesus, no way throughout the Bible, has called... Sorry, sister. Uh, are you busy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Just last one. Just last one, sister. The fact that God the Father has never glorified Jesus by calling him the one true God. Now, when you stated he had, I believe, Hashim, you stated that it was not actually Jesus' words. No, no. Not only, not only that it's not Jesus' okay. words, what I'm saying well, is that this, even this for the... Got to go into that's fine, you have to... You okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to be praying for all you guys. Make sure you pray to the God of Jesus. Yes. I'm going to pray The one true God, the Father. Thank you very much. Now, what I'm saying is this. If Jesus is even, even let's say, let's, let's say that Paul said, Every knee shall bow, yes, to whom? To Jesus. Yeah. But this Jesus himself is saying that the true God of his is the Father. But Jesus never stated that part that she was stating. Who was it? Yeah, it was not Jesus' word. This is the word of Paul. Paul has never seen Jesus in his life, at least not in flesh. He might have seen it in his dream or whatever it is, in a vision, which is again a dream. But the important thing is that, let's say for the argument's sake, we believe what the Christians are saying, that is Jesus is a God. If he is a God, should we move back a bit? Yeah, yeah. If, if he's saying Jesus is yeah. a God, then the important thing is this. This God himself is worshipping a higher God. And that is his father. Who he says is the true God. So ultimately there is one supreme God and that is the God of Jesus, which is a father, which is called Allah in Aramaic, the language of Jesus, which we call Allah. So, Jazakallah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. It's time for Maghrib. Let's go, guys.